Okay, hey, howdy, how are you guys doing? Uh, quick video here, a little bit of uh, update on surge protectors. So the FS140, this bad boy, well, not cut up, but anyways, is, is I believe is being officially discontinued. We've been hearing rumors about it for a while and being replaced permanently by the FSPD140, the bolt shield. Um, I came across that when I was looking at our uh, flush plates, trying to find those. We had made a bunch because the for a while the FS140 flush plates were ridiculously expensive, eighty five hundred bucks a pop. So we went out, had a bunch made out of aluminum plate. I checked online, and those prices had come down. I was wondering why. Well, now I know why because they're going to stop carrying them, and so those went down to in, into the low fifties. So. I'm not a big fan of the FSPD, the bolt shield, uh, mostly because it's, um, it's difficult to mount unless you have a surface mount panel. So, you know, if you have a basement panel or an outdoor panel, it's fantastic. You can nipple that straight in, great. But if you have a flush panel, there's no flush mount kit, and it looks nasty to roll conduit out of that surface mount through the drywall into the bottom of the panel. Your leads are also longer by a good, whatever, five or six inches just to get into the panel. I have still become more and more as we've used more of these, the PSP, the Vortex R's, PSPs, um, real quick, I'm gonna show you, but I've really, we've put in probably half a dozen, seven or eight of these in the last three months. Um, really, really like them. Flush plates are reasonable and easy to get to. They're, I think 25 bucks, 30 bucks. Um, but if you can see this, I know you guys can read, but I don't know if you can read my handwriting. If you look here, this is the bolt shield. Let me see if I can move you closer. Okay, that might help. Versus the Vortex. So, bolt shield has to be a type 2. It has to have a circuit breaker. Uh, the bolt shield. The Vortex could be type 1 or 2. The only place where the Vortex doesn't really keep up with the bolt shield is in the overall surge protection. So the bolt shield, the Siemens is 140,000 versus 120,000. With all the other things going for it, I think it's worth it. I don't think that's a problem. But really, if you go down here, the, the two biggest other things are, of course, the Siemens is plastic. The Vortex is aluminum. It's actually metal, pretty hefty. The other thing is the warranty. 10-year um, warranty from Siemens Lifetime warranty from PSP, which is worth reading. They actually have verbiage in there about lightning with quite a few provisions, basically like a distant strike. Not sure how you define that. Uh, but overall, the Vortex, when we've installed, I've really inst liked that, especially being able to do them as a type one. When you have a panel that's full, they come with uh, these crimps that are made to, if you look, They've got these ridges to bite in. Uh, it's tough to see. They've got, this is all ridged, so you can slide it behind, loosen the feeder, slide that in behind there, and then torque it back down, and it grips. And it's, at least the surge protector parts, you all listed to be done that way. And again, the upside is it's a type one, as close as you can get to the feeder in, incoming to the panel, and you don't need any more breaker spaces. So, and then the pricing, right now the bolt shield is 200 plus where you can get it. And the PSP, the Vortex is around between uh, 120, 130 on up. But it's available and it's easy to get to and they're easy to deal with. I don't know if you've heard anything else, let me know in the comments. Um, as far as the bolt shield and the FS140 being cycled out, um, we heard that last year and then they still had them for a while. So it sounds like right now they're just getting rid of the FS 140s. Um, they're in the pipeline already and then they're done. Take care. Click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.